There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. Anyway, so that's when Harvey Weinstein actually called me from prison and said, do I want to invest in his new movie? That's wild. And I, that's said, I said, well, why, why wouldn't I get He said wait. I could get on the ground floor. Eric saying we're live. Just your good old boys yeah, back here. Yeah, I don't know about no Hollywood. Yeah, no, we don't I'm know you're talking the boys about. of Wisconsin now. You know, I figured the other day I was going to buy myself a goat, and I figured, oh, I ain't deserve no goat. Who kind of goat man I am? Moving pictures. I heard the camera steals your soul. <laughs> What's the real version of us? Well, find out now. Hi, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining the stream. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, first of all, you all did this to yourselves. It's Marcus's mandate, and you don't know, Henry and I know, Marcus is number one. Uh, what is the thing that gets him motivated the most? Revenge and spite. Yes. And today's episode, evidently somebody made the mistake of saying that Marcus has gone soft. Come! And um, because of that, Come. I am going to be... Yep, thank you. Because of that, I think all of us are going to be living in, uh, in fucking hell. Well, I will hour. say, I already know that one of my videos was scooped. Okay, That's you didn't fine. get a scoop video. It was scooped. Okay. Uh, but, you know, and I actually, I'll amend that. They didn't say soft. They just said Marcus's videos are a little calmer than I expected. Garbage. And I took umbrage to that. Like, <sighs> yes. And, and once he takes umbrage, yes. you better hold your breasts tight because his umbrage sprays and sprays and sprays and sprays. If you've ever seen The Last Dance, Marcus took this personally. He did. And um, also, I'm looking at the, I got the comments right here. The chat's coming through. They're, uh, you know, back academic saying his day of reckoning has come. come. But guess what, man? I mean, I don't know. Because, again, I don't want to push him so far. Because we push him so far, we got to have some place to go. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, no. That's, that's really the, true. Well, that's the thing is that what I discovered today is that this mandate is only the beginning. Because I've found many very, ah, uh, let's say, special places, special corners of the internet from which I will be culling videos from now on. He's really That's got it great. now because you know what? Truthfully, he has been feeling better. You've been noticed. You've been walking more. You've been I doing stuff. Yeah. You've been, been stronger. Yeah. And I like to see this sort of antagonistic energy from you. And Absolutely. it's taken so long to get it back. And I also, I don't want to oversell it. I know there's going to be some people that are going to say, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's yeah. not that hard. Where was all the genocide? I didn't even see any genocide. Yeah, I didn't see any live death, blah, 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 blah. But you're not going to see live death. In fact, we're going to start it with a birth. Let's birth this new, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. this yeah. new era. Uh, this it, is a new era. I do think era. that birth is actually worse than death. Yeah, it could be. It, we have all these anti-abortion news I would rather watch I mean, pro -abortion people. newspapers. It's great. But that's the thing. I would, we, it's very focused. It's very yeah. focused newspaper. Um, I yeah I yeah I'm actually more comfortable watching people die than people being born because technically death is slightly less disgusting. Well, we're not actually going to watch a person being born because we all know what that looks like. Do you know what a, Do you know what a giraffe being born looks like? I imagine it's fucking big old pussy. Let's see. Ugh. Now, now what in the fuck? Oh, it looks like when they kill the angel in Evangelion. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I love yeah. this new Bud, I, Bud Light ad. Yeah. Oh, what whoa. is going on? Here? Yeah, you uh, know, it's a lot of fluids coming out. That's that is, extremely that's beautiful. So yeah, that's it's extremely so beautiful. Bad. I mean, we can't beautiful. get. I can't give you the best that I got. Well, because right a giraffe. Will, the, the one thing about giraffe, right? It'll nip you. It'll right? nip, it'll nip you. I don't fuck with the giraffe. But they're very classy animals. Yeah, mm. they're very yep. as far as I'm concerned. I know that they are like they technically they were protective over their youth and stuff, mm -hmm. but you can see just like for it to slide out that much, for it to have such a long neck, it's got to have a lot of fluid. And of that course, packing it in. When, when it comes to animals, ugh, specifically during the Vietnam era, a lot of them were drafted. <laughs> Wow. And that's why they were actually over there fighting for freedom. Uh -huh. Unbelievable. And I think they're it's actually on their way to Moscow. Where right are these now. Com Kelly? Do they say in this like are we allow in this? Are we allow? Are we allow giraffe, giraffe, giraffe puns? Oh, giraffe puns were. I mean, a giraffe pun is fine. You know, like I, yeah. it's but you know, because again, it's all about. Well, we all learn from Lion King. You sometimes you got to wait for your father to die for you to get the job that you want. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my God! At the end of it, he was like, "Who needs my?" That's dad? what the Who whole movie's about. Waiting yeah, for I know. the whole movie is the song. I, I just can't wait to be king. Is him the beloved Mustafa? He just wants Mustafa to get fucking CIA'd 
in the back. He wants him to come and fucking drop some yeah, polonium yeah. on you a Mustafa. You don't think that Prince, F uh, Prince Charles killed the queen? Can you imagine you don't think that? He killed that fucking that old shot, lady? The shot of Mustafa dying of polonium poisoning. Like, you know, all his hair out. You see, he looks like a hairless cat just going like, Simba, I knew <laughs> it would be you. And he's like, bye, daddy. I'm going to buy Twitter. Yeah, I can actually see lions enjoying sushi. Yeah, I, I can, can see, see some. Yeah, I can see absolutely. It. A lot of animals would not enjoy sushi. Uh, I cannot see a hippopotamus enjoying sushi. Elephants, I don't think, would like sushi. Uh, tigers probably don't care for sushi. Uh, tigers like sushi. Tigers like sushi. You think yeah. so? Oh, yeah. Tigers like Alligators sushi. Alligators Yeah, I like do. Oh, did I say Mustafa, Kelly? Oh, the, oh, the lion's name is Mufasa. Mustafa is his Uber driver. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I love Mustafa. Mufasa. Yeah, Mufasa. So let me ask, you guys know a lot about how testicles work? I know I that. I definitely do. I know that they drop. I know that they're spindly tendrils and not mm -hmm. little balls. Mm -hmm. I, I know that technically lot. from what I've eaten, right, that they are more tendrilly. Yeah, you Human guys forced testicles. me to eat. You guys forced me to eat what sweet breads it's called, but it's not bread. Rocky I, Mountain oysters. It's truly. I thought it was going to be. It's tasty. It was great. tasty though. Yeah, it was very tasty. It, it was extremely. It was, tasty. it was deep fried. You can deep fry anything. Yeah, but it's, might as well not deep fry testicles. Nobody but. tells you that there's calamari under your dick. Yeah. Because it I just learned, tastes like calamari. I learned it everything from the Tom Green cancer special because he had cancer in both of his balls. And then I saw the ball and I was like, ooh, that's what that ball looked like. And I think that's really kind of fun. And they can go up into the chamber, mm -hmm. right? It can go back up inside yep. of you. And apparently that's also a way you know if you are cold, but your balls are still hanging really low, right. you, you're sick. Also, right. if you want to find out how much weight you've gained, you Javi Barrio says, balls. I know pee is stored in the balls. Yes. It is, absolutely. You want to mark your balls, and then hopefully, you know, because it does, the testicle sac will uh, gr grow more into the body right. uh, the larger you get. So you want to be careful with that. Also, when I was a child, I used to pretend, because I didn't have the biggest balls, that if somebody hit me in the balls, I would pretend like it hurt. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah. Very interesting. Oh, wow. That well, was a late it's like bloomer. stolen valor. Well, we're not going to go no. for pain on the balls. We're going to actually go for the other side. We're going to go for pleasure on the balls. Yes. Okay. Because there are certain things. Pleasure on the ball. Okay, Pleasure good, good, on good. the ball. Baba Yaga's intern just knows sweetbreads are thyroid glands. Yes, that's where he was incorrect. Rocky Mountain oysters are balls. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so pleasure centers on the balls. If you do a little bit of tickle tickle on the inside of the thighs, your balls will move. That's ironic. Move, that's that's the, actually where Harvey Weinstein's balls are, are the inside of his thigh. That's is that, true. Wait, wait, were you talking about, is this just like a weird thing that Carolina tells you? Absolutely or like, not. This is a scientific fact. However, they move in such a way, they're so subtle that you can't really tell unless you speed it up six times. Okay. And if you put it at six times the speed, you can really see how those testicles move. So let's see. I think our friend Ed has the biggest balls. Oh, there is it. <sighs> it's just, it's like a fucking living organism. <laughs> I, I think that thing was actually. You would be not. Nah, this uh, is horseshit. I think that's this is horseshit. The there is no way. No, this, is re this is real puppetry also, of the penis. I don't. What's so weird it's is my times. mind doesn't I, identify that as balls. Yeah, right? Can yeah. we go back? Yeah, let's go back. Let's type. So, wait a second. What is it doing? Rory bit. says there are taste buds on the balls. I just think that's what your father said. Uh oh, hello. Yeah, it does kind of look like a tongue in a sense. It's just wow. It is boogieing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now why though? That's just what they do. That can't be real. That's no, this guy's it really balls. Really can't be we real. I, I feel like that's a guy wearing no, a hat. Just, just try it later. There was some sort of. Grady says it's called stoch stochastic movement, and it happens to regulate temperature. Interesting. Oh. But like it boogies like that, like those rocks, like the trees. It, Kissel oh, has I a, love those dancing Kissel, trees. Kessel has not sent in the research yet. For what? For your moving trees, your walking trees episode that you're going to deliver to us. Oh, yes. Oh, I've covered the. I've been doing a lot of research on those moving trees. We, we showed a series of videos where the trees were moving. Absolutely. Why don't you find a tree when when you go back to the tree that you remember having your first kiss at? Why don't you find that there? Monsanto. I don't know. That makes no sense. They, Monsanto made Agent Orange. Yeah. Um, why don't you go back to the tree where you had your first kiss at and see what that does? Yes, indeed. The tree will be gone, my friend. Yep. Much like the woman. Oh, Jake in the chat. Finally, something I'm qualified to talk about. Testicular cancer survivor here. Ask me anything. Huh. When you nut, if you have more than, if you only have one nut, and when you come, <laughs> is the come. <laughs> Thicker than normal or less? Well, 
Also, how'd you get testicular cancer? What'd you do wrong? Did you make it? <laughs> did you piss off a witch? It's true. Did yeah. you eat the wrong cereal? Yeah. How does one get testicular cancer? There's not even a lot of meat down there. Yeah, I guess the way you get it is by sitting on your phone. Oh, yeah, I have careful. heard. Yeah. We are all going to develop real interesting tumors when we're 75. And That's why I always generation... wrap my penis. I wrap my penis in lead. Oh, you should. I actually wrap That's mine good. in just pure asbestos. That's how you got to do it. It's how you make sure it doesn't burst into flames. Absolutely. So what did you do wrong to get testicular cancer? Uh, did you have a series of bad thoughts? Uh, did you sounds like you your held, mother? Sounds like you held grudges too long. Oh, that would do it. That happens. It does happen. I've never actually been bally enough to have my balls hit the water when I take a dumper doodle. No, Some no. people do. Some Our friend do. Eddie, no. his balls will hit the water. He and actually I, might need a reduction. I yeah. did get a They've good, been talking about it. He's it, honestly, his, his beautiful wife I got a has good kind of, of floated this concept of a ball reduction because also as what or you might not dream. know to all of you poor people out there who don't understand as you get older, your balls just... They continue to grow. It's gravity. As you can see, look at that man. That guy's balls. He must be seven years old. Those balls are trying to go to work. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they are getting bigger and longer. They are fighting oh, now, that bag. Now you're reminding me of what happened to the YMCA showers. Oh, my God. Those I, old man but balls. But I still won't be nude in the in the spa yet. I have to get there. Because, again, I have tiny balls. No. Yeah. I mean, no one's looking. They are not allowed to say anything. Yes. That's a rule. You're not allowed to say anything. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, we'll get back around to Jake when he explains what's yeah. what the consistency yeah, what of his cum is wrong. and what did he do wrong. Yeah. Well, let's move on from the, the testicles to the vagina. Uh, but for the what? vagina, we're not going to actually see a vagina per se. Not the vagina as it is on the woman. What we're going to mm -hmm. see is a beautiful representation of a woman's vagina that is, I would say, a tribute from a husband to his wife uh, for everyone in the world to see. Yep. Let's check out okay. this wonderful bit of body art. Okay. Labias are just testicle skin. Right? Look at that. Wow. You know... That's an incredible tattoo. That's insane. That's an incredible well, tattoo. Well, I that don't he... know if, if if that's accurate. This guy might not need to find a new wife. All I oh, know come is, come on, yeah. Ben. Why? No, There's absolutely. There's a lot no, going I'm, on there. I am not going to let you vagina shame in any way I'm whatsoever. Not vagina Every vagina shaming. is beautiful. Do not let Ben make you feel bad about your vagina. It's wonderful. I'm not making it's them great feel the bad about is. their vaginas. I guarantee you, there's a woman right now being like, "My vagina ain't beautiful, <laughs> but it get the job done." Yeah, you yeah. better watch out. You kick her in the side. It'll get you to Cleveland. Absolutely. <laughs> no, I wonder when you are that, when you have that photorealistic vagina, because like, in my mind, like I, you know, I love vaginas mm -hmm. and I like all everything around them. I like their right. minds. Well, have you ever seen a vagina when you're not aroused? I did. I was coming up the, uh, the F train coming off of canal street. When we lived in New York, mm. this woman, I know, I, I know she the was same wearing no woman. panties. I know this same woman. There was a woman that the only way to describe it, so I can maybe do it on the table. I don't know if it's the same woman. She would do this pose. This is a. This was a. Oh no! I'm not talking a, about a homeless woman. A home more woman, <laughs> um, where she what she did was that she lay. I walked into a subway in the middle of the night, and she was laying like this, right, with this leg, all the way up, mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. No skirt, like nothing go, nothing going on. And you here, were right? aroused. Like, yeah. Just like she was like sitting on the thing. But the thing is, is that again. Just open ass vagina, yeah. just like randomly, is more jarring than anything. I like, saw yeah, it's a, very it, jarring. It's where you're like, whoa, because especially at the time, because you look at her face, I was like, who's that flirty humble model? And then you look down her body, and then I was like, whoa, big crazy, uh, full on feral New York City <laughs> street pussy. Beaver. Just like when, just like out, singing well, aloud, being the woman Adele about I it. I saw was young, our age around the time, and technically she was attractive, but even so. Just a random vagina in the wild really lets you, but does, really reminds you that you got to be in the mood. Does your wife want that for her? What? Yeah. Did she request that? Or well, let's is go she, back and take a or look at it. Is she dead? And this is some sort of tribute. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let me look at the corpse one last time. <laughs> Let me see here. Just put a pause there on it. Let me look, there, uh, Let me yeah, look and see. And you know what I appreciate? Yeah, put a pause on it, Eric. What I appreciate is, is there's also like butthole involved there. Oh, yes, I do see how the butthole does, and the perineum wow. work, I actually think, might be uh, the best. And, of course, the piercing good. up top. But my my issue is... I didn't even know what happened. Oh, my God. Now that I'm seeing the butthole. Look, look to the left. You know what's right next to it? Batman. That's Batman. Batman. Right. Well, it does kind of look like one of Joker's goons. <laughs> Pussy um, face. Yeah. <laughs> just, I just feel like they Why is Batman 
right next to it. What well, this man puts uh, his wife's hopefully alive wife's yeah. vagina right in the highest esteem to Bruce Wayne. It just yeah. seems like <laughs> um, uh, according to our mod, it does, it does remind you again that it's just testicle skin there. Well, so. wait a second. Is that Mitch McConnell? Um, I'm not Jake, but I'm also a testicular cancer survivor. Survivor, no impact on ejaculate post surgery healing. I just want to know why that vagina had so much going on. Well, cause yeah, I kinda... some vaginas have a lot going on. Yeah, but then, you know. Women are complicated. Yeah. I know that. Vaginas, there's like 20 different types of vaginas. Oh, more than that. There's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got Arctic Freeze graph. vagina. Oh, you I got Cool one. Ranch vagina. <laughs> you got um, you know uh, had? Rocky Mountain Blue <laughs> I had, vagina. Um, I just had some baked lays that were um, a chicken. But what's that fun chicken sandwich? Mm, it's a good chicken sandwich. The fun chicken it's sandwich. A What's chicken? a fun chicken What's sandwich? Fun? What's that? Bar What's a barbecue fun chicken? chicken? Barbecue chicken. That's you what you just say it a, a fun chicken sandwich. I had it is. barbecue chicken lays the other day. Yesterday. Bait. What? What that for? Was, How is it connected back to the vagina? Because Arctic oh. Freeze. You're talking about fast food stuff. You're talking about, you're talking about snacks. See, I feel like you've ever, though, you've ever opened up. I'm sorry, Kelly. Have you ever, like, had like a open up like a soup or something or like something like that, and you're like mm -hmm. whoa that's a vagina smell no like whoa no. or like a certain times when it rains can he... yeah the cement well i mean obviously you know you have your your cliche you know I, kind of fish okay fishy night. no i, I never did. smell no, that I, I normally I see i see what caitlin you're... says vaginas are complicated like an endless cinnabon <laughs> yeah i do believe that i see what you mean by the can of soup because sometimes a vagina will retain a copper smell mm. after a woman has gone through it's, gonna, it's like an oregano it's like, yeah it's <laughs> not in this not in this economy and i could see in 10 copper you know what it is i bet are you opening up tins of tomato soup Yes. Yeah, there you go. It's the tomato oh, you think soup. It's the I know tomato exactly soup? what you mean. It's the tomato soup. <laughs> I thought it would be more of a split pea. <laughs> no, no, no. And, and no. you know why that, got ham in it. And you know why that is? Because sometimes, like a woman's, the smell, the bouquet of a woman's vagina can Ugh. sometimes be uh, influenced by what she eats. And if a woman eats a lot of tomato, then sometimes a tomato scent can emanate from said vagina. So <laughs> that's where you're getting that from. That's good that's why I, eat, I eat a lot of burgers. We get another chick in here who eats a bunch of lettuce and another chick who loves buns. We got ourselves a whole four course meal here. We can actually make a hamburger together. <laughs> <laughs> hey baby, let's make a hamburger together. All of a sudden we're in a Hardee's. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, how did I get into a fast food restaurant? I thought I was in my home. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take it down a notch here. We're still talking about husbands. We're Eugene still talking says, now about I need wives. to see what my wife is up to. You'll find yeah. out. No, yeah. take a look at just take a look at your wife's vagina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. And I do it once a day. And please do it before she dies, because we're about to get to a man who can no longer look at his wife's Aww. vagina. Uh, he's actor Richard E. Grant. And usually his his Instagram, I love his Instagram. Usually I would call it. What is he famous for? Uh, is he an actor or he was, is, he, is he like he's out He's an of... actor. You'll, you'll recognize him. Okay. He was in uh, the uh, Melissa McCarthy movie, Everybody Hates Me, You're the Hater. Nope. Something uh, like that. And you know, will never know. Uh, he was in With, kind of did you ever see With Nail and I? Yes. He was yes, in, I know exactly in, who you're talking he about. He was yes. in that. But usually his Instagram is, I would call him uh, psychotically grateful. For his place in life That's and I like for that. what he's done. Less. Like, Lindy says Marcus grateful. is a true connoisseur of pussy, apparently. Yeah, uh, that is true. I mean, yes. So, Richard E. Grant, uh, unfortunately, has lost his wife. So, he's, I would say he's gone from psychotically grateful to this video here where he is psychotically grieving. Oh, good. My wife was born and grew up in Aberdeen. Grant City, sparkling in the sun today. It's the first time I've been back here since she died. Feels very emotionally charged. And also comforting. God, do I miss her. So chew on that for a bit. I, I don't just, really give a fly, fly. What now? It's just <laughs> I. What, I, I what's he an actor from? I that really is the kind equivalent. Of recognize him. That's the equivalent 
of a lady. So if he was from Tulsa, Oklahoma, <laughs> he would be filming face first in a, a Roy Rogers drive through crying about how his abortion didn't take. You know what I mean? Like he would be that style of TikToker in that moment. But, but that is very classy. Yeah, it's like he's extraordinarily classy because sometimes he'll be at a movie premiere and he'll just, today I'm here at a movie premiere. Yeah. I can't believe how incredibly fortunate. I am. And now I am here at my wife's grave. And if I just, ooh, if I just imagine, I can see in my mind what it was like for her little body to slide into the tent. Wow. Um, according to Jake, they ended up degloving eight centimeters of my spine to completely get rid of the cancer. With it went the nerves that make you ejaculate. Sorry to disappoint, but the cum is now non existent. Kind of like a really cum. expensive vasectomy. Honestly, I blame God. <laughs> That would make a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, Chad is just sad after the video. That is what yeah. Kelly says. The chat is mostly yeah. been sad, but that's the idea. That's the idea. Is is Marcus sad, is going to punish because, all of because us. Because also... people were saying like, "Oh no, Marcus! Like it's sort of like you know, it's not quite uh, like it's a little it's soft. It, it, it's a little more softer from what I expect from Marcus. I love. So fuck you. Fuck you. Take a grieving man. Take a sweet grieving like, man. I, I you know, I, that's, I mean, I deal with that every day. It's I deal content. with that every day. It's content. I yeah. honestly, that, that man made content for us to see, mm -hmm. and he wanted to share his grief in a soliloquy. Sure. What's the point? Why do, why do people do that? Well, it's because it's they... It's the uh, trauma dumping that I, because also he wants to do it for clout. I, he was trying to. He I was think, trying to get some ghost clout. I think he's trying. He likes to share. He with likes people. to share. I think that what? a lot of guys what like social message? media. But he didn't have a message. He but wasn't like this is why you is should that, go look at your wife's vagina no. every day because she's gonna die. <laughs> he should. He say didn't that. dig her up. He the, didn't do anything. The message, it did hashtag that, add at the end of it. Yeah. The me the <laughs> message is that he is grieving. Everyone grieves, therefore his grieving may help someone else in their grieving process because How they're sharing the grief. would me watching somebody else grieve help me grieve whatsoever? If I get into a car accident and I don't want to see another car accident, it doesn't make me feel better. You know, that's this interesting. So stupid. Some people like this. Why are listening to? Whoa, whoa. I, yeah, he's afraid of the sadness. He's I'm not afraid, afraid of, of the sadness. I live in sadness. But you know what it is is. Uh, how do you put it? He does want people to commiserate. And I think that there's a feeling of you're trying to shatter this lonely feeling you have been the only person who's grieving right now. But, you know, in my mind, how I really want to see somebody grieve um, is buy a big, huge boat and accidentally crash it and make content <laughs> for its side stories. Like the idea of like, have someone like, you know, build a hot air balloon because his wife died and then explodes himself in the hot air balloon. Sure, again, right. that's my style of grief. A guy who's mad that he lost his job and then he decides he's going to systematically rub his dick on every single subway, like, you know, when he goes to the subway re sure, restaurant sure. and he wants to rub his dick and balls all over the divider, to the sneeze guard. Well, right? cover... Like that guy, I get, I, I see. Yeah. I, I commiserate. I understand. With. That is fine. Cammy says Marcus will have his revenge. Yes. I, I think revenge. that... I think that, oh, okay. Um, I believe, I was just looking at the screen. Think about what you said about. Okay. Uh, there we go. Um, <laughs> what happened? I got confused. I, I got very confused. But you know for a fact, so after this guy's mourning the death of his wife, right, that he probably killed, you know? He, no, he you're, went back. you are we maligning don't know. the good we name don't know. of Richard E. Grant. We don't know. I personally, is he Dominion voting machines? Is he going to sue me? <laughs> I personally, I'm a big fan of Richard E. Grant. What has he been in? With, with Nail, Nail and I, I. Uh, he was really good in that movie with Melissa McCarthy, like Sometimes I Hate You. Yeah, it's called like, uh, oh, I think it's called Exit to Eden. Uh, uh, yeah. Lady, Lady Gets Stuck in Pipe. It was, she was a writer. What's the name of that he movie? Was, he was wonderful in it. It was a wonderful movie. Something like My Typewriter is Dead. Uh, Just like, I'm, I'm a lady, somebody give uh, me something. Uh, was the name of the movie? It's a, well, like, I, I, oh, look, I was, no, it was, was called, I was funny before, now I'm sad, where's my Oscar? That's exactly my, what it was called. And you know what? Richard E. Grant was nominated for an Oscar for that movie. He was good in that movie because he was, he was the, I know what movie you're talking about yeah. now. It's the sad movie where so Melissa the McCarthy, who's totally Hollywood. smiling, is now sad. Yes. Right? And she was like, oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but then he shows up and he's like, oh, I'm sassy. Yeah, he was sassy. He was sassy. And he was dying of well now he's sad yeah now well, he's that's sad. the deal he made with the devil that is hollywood but i'm saying is this you saying he took you his know wife? for a fact that he made the video and then what do you do we're human beings right so you walk around and then you know he looked how many people have liked it what's the reach you know you looked at the comment section maybe i just think once you start doing straight to cam only straight to camera just always by yourself 
mental illness. He probably has early onset Alzheimer's. No, I think what I think is that once you hit 65, you should only do straight to camera. Uh, I believe so too. Look at Frank, Frank Severo, my favorite Instagram celebrity. Frank Severo, he used to have big hair. He, now he's got a wig, but he's got big sunglasses. And all he does is show what pasta he's going to eat. Yep. Oh. And he looks in the camera and he's like, hey, I don't. My name's Frank Severo. Hey, come as a ditch. How you doing? You don't, I, I don't got to tell you all my credits. I was in Goodfellas. I was in Casino. And you would have to do, well, I'm having a nice plate of pasta. I'm having a nice plate of pasta. And that's all he does. Wow, that's my range? favorite. She, all the way from Goodfellas to Casino. He's, that's what he does. He plays goofy Italian guy with big crazy hair. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Oh, Lindy says know, the movie's name was Spice World. <laughs> oh, Spice World. That was a fun movie. And that I've was always, a fun movie. I always loved the Spice Girls. Uh, what is it? Genie? Gina? The one with the red hair. Yeah. And scary. Mm. Mm. Well, actually, speaking of Spice Girls, let's Gina. go Let's go to what I would Gina, call... I so. Let's go to what I would call a spicy woman. Oh, having a spicy time That's on a like. spicy pole. That's me. Just oh, I like at, all that. Just make sure to take a gander at the bottom of the screen. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. Doing light skin. skin. Ah. Throw some yeah. Well, oh. I think you dropped some. Oh, we've that? dropped a oh, okay. Well, no. I mean, I actually covered. I, on, on today's serious show, I was discussing the mystery pooper from nineteen from two thousand seventeen in Colorado Springs that was never found. Can I, I am very proud. I see it one more time. He's a short flow. I got it. None of this is making it to YouTube. Ah. Throw some wow. 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 It came out from shit. between her. What is even? All right. Listen. I don't I've had know if a that was from her butthole. I, I, that may have been between her legs. As a man who has had <laughs> explosive, know. immediate liquid shit through large swaths that of my life, right? To it. You know it's coming. Yeah. Right? You know it's coming. And yeah, have oh. I shit in inopportune places? Mm. Absolutely. You know, I've done the thing where I've ran to the toilet and I've had to pull my pants down in the middle of the bathroom and have landed in a puddle of my own shit, right? Sure. I've done that several <laughs> times. Five or six, maybe ten times. Well, you know what you, I've done that in my life. There's, toilet bowls should be bigger. But you, I agree. I think you should be able to stand and just shit, and then someone <laughs> just comes and hits it with a hose. That'd I think be really that's nice. A shower. Actually, they, that's how they do it in China. It's just holes in the ground. I know, but you got to squat. I'm yeah. saying stand. Full. You tooth. honestly, if you shit in the shower, full arms akimbo. Someone does that. Just shit, mm -hmm. but. Um, that woman, how did she not know? Maybe she thought it was a fart. No. That no, was no, pretty no. large. It also looked like it came out her goddamn pussy. Well, let's yeah. go back and yeah. watch. Exactly. Because if that's... you look at the film here, it, it looks like it's it, between her thighs. It looks like it had been sitting there for a long time. That's the and thing. She I'm not getting... she sat on a beanie baby. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's got a sluggish quality exactly. to it. Exactly. It doesn't seem like it... I feel like this was pre-cooked. I mean, this is, this is a pre-cooked... Ah. Throw some wine Wow. That's not right out of the asshole. That yeah. is not coming out of the asshole. And that could also be a discharge of some kind. No way. Is it? A yeah, if we can slow mo. It might mo. be a gun. Oh God, is that ratatouille? Ah. Uh, Throw some wine. Yeah. See, now what? Ooh, it comes. None of this well, is gonna make it. No, I think it does. I think Strub it is come. who shit in the tub. Uh, that's the real mystery. It's, it might be this woman. It's coming from right. It is not the butthole. The butthole is yeah. positioned yeah. here in this situation. Uh, uh, that would actually be a hyper un. This would also, be called it would the. Um, get caught in the dress. This would be called the Zapooter film. <laughs> the Zapooper film. Yeah. It's the Zapooper film. Now let's I, let's look at the. All right, so Oswald was, did it. Yeah. Now, you know, so, you yeah, my robot toilet it helps me now because again, I've had that's a long series of negotiations I've had with my robot toilet. Well, I hope that's this just woman straight knows up shit. How beautiful she is, and she doesn't need to be doing. Pooping. I don't mind the, uh, the great thigh work. Phenomenal. But Has anyone the looked pooping, up? That's the really... You know what? And here's what I think. Here's it's an what animal. I definitely think. That's it... a dead bird. <laughs> oh my god! I don't think that bird? shit. That if like... that's a dead bird, we can show this on YouTube. Yeah, if that's a dead bird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But on the other hand, I do think it might be shit <laughs> might be because notice how it tapers off. And I think she knew it was coming, and I think she tried to squeeze up as hard as she could, and that's why it tapers like That's what so. kept her on the pole, maybe. That's what kept her on the pole. But I feel like it came up because she was on the pole, and she was using the other mu muscles to hold onto the pole. I think that's the UFO over Las Vegas. Oh my <laughs> god, oh my god, call <laughs> Joseph Biden. Yeah, I think that's just a big... Well, Let me be clear. Fascinating. Yeah, it was Let me be clear. Sometimes you gotta shit. I know my old buddy, Corn Pop. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. So... We're here. It's 8:30. We're right in the middle of this, and I'm thinking, since 
Oh, hold on a second. I got to take this call. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Disgraced director Brian Singer. How are you? Whoa, wait a second. No, Kissel, we're live. I'm only That's working with Lindsay. the best out here in Hollywood. Lindsay says it looks like a flattened chipmunk. You're right. It might yeah, be. It I, might actually, be. I don't. I don't think it was shit. Now I really. I don't. I don't. Think Why it, don't we call it a flattened chipmunk so that it's okay? Okay. I just, just don't know where. Call it a flattened chipmunk, and then that's fine. If this woman had killed a chipmunk by squeezing squeezing it between her thighs, then that goes to YouTube. Unfortunately, if it is feces, then it will it not. Go to you're YouTube. talking about the inherent. On you're talking about the inherent true hypocrisy I that see. is real within the internet. Where if we showed her just if she had a dead chip, fucking <laughs> she had a dead chipmunk up her asshole, yeah, and it fell fine. out, and we didn't see asshole or yeah. pussy, that's literally Can fine. You not that we can, you can literally show shit show on it. YouTube. I've seen shit on YouTube. Not like not out of a not out of a woman with a short dress. Unfortunately, unfortunately, huh. it has a sexual connotation to it. No, I really yes. don't think that has a sexual um, connotation. Catherine, to it. my mom was a psych nurse in New Orleans. While cleaning up a sex worker who had been admitted, she found a Rolex inside the woman, which no. I completely understand no. because that's why you. you your butt can be your own bank. Yeah, wow. yeah, it can Talk be. About you like, gotta put it somewhere. Oh, what the fuck? Where, where did I put my watch? You can't go back and get it. Oh my no. God! You know, that Cinnamon, watch get back here! I hear you ticking. That watch is over. Uh, what are you? <laughs> I wake up at eight o'clock in the morning every single day. I can't turn this fucking alarm off. It's in my asshole. So. <laughs> Here, eat some pebbles. <laughs> eat some pebbles. Like, like a duck? Sure. You're going to treat her like a duck? <laughs> at that point, you have to. Yes. So we're here right in the middle of this stream. We're at 830, so now I'm thinking... going to get somebody to lose a necklace inside of her. Yeah, I know. I have to pull out. a whole fucking jewelry store. <laughs> I'm thinking it's time to take a little cue from Henry. I think it's time for Will You Shut Off the Stream. Okay. Oh, and yeah. this Will You Shut Off the Stream, taking a cue from you, Henry. Sorry, because... Brujita, you get this. This is what you deserve. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh Henry, I'm gonna I'm dedicating this one to you specifically because this may be in your future because I know you're somewhat sensitive about your hairline. Fuck you. <laughs> what are you talking about? He doesn't wear, he doesn't even wear hats. Well, I'm not even fuck you both. Yeah. I'm, I'm I am having peace with it. That's why I'm not taking Propecia. I'm not doing the hair plugs. I'm letting it go. All right. So, pro say, you've officially gone pro at being bald. I am right. pro bald. So, Propecia. But say one day you decide to go a different route. Okay. What's that gonna look like? What do you mean, like I start getting hair? Well, well you could stay. There's a lot of different ways you can do or it. Like now. wigs? I've thought about wigs. I thought about using performative wigs. Bro, right. I, I was talking to him about horses because uh -huh. I went to a rodeo. I just don't, don't nice. even yeah. fucking horse, horse hair. Yeah, horse, horse, horse hair. Horse hair is pretty good. I do it. Pretty beautiful. Solid. But let's see what a possible future Henry may have to. Chat look should be scared. To. I'm already fucking pissed at you. I'm already mad. Because I ch I'm choosing this. Oh, fucking tits. Oh, God. What the fuck is, is that? I'm not doing this. It's it's terrible. So God, help me. It's hair it looks like it's hair This is what, they, this is what you like want a, me to it do? It looks like the prayer candles at the Vatican. Like is this what you fire. want me to do? This is fucking pathetic. Look at this shit. Look at you now. Look what God, you've done. I'm Henry. not Look doing this. That's what you did this weekend? I have hair. There is still physical hair yeah, you here. Have a, you can have a bunch of slugs implanted into your fucking dome. I don't need to do this. Jesus Christ, Bert. Bert no, this really hurts. I mean, what is wrong with this guy? Just, oh, just sticking it you all just, the way in here. This is this the only way to do it, still? Huh? This is the it. Way. This is it. I would almost just take oh. it. I would almost just scalp myself. And just... Ready for go! Ready to go! I mean, it was interesting. I, I would like to see the finished results, but like, so the first look at Ryan Seacrest. You know when you look at a... Stanley Tucci. You're not Stanley Tucci. Look at um Steve Carell. Steve mm. Carell has one of the most infamous. If you look at what his hair was like before he got on the office, yeah. he for certain has gotten all redone. Did they did they have a massive uh, were they mad at him in your email group? What? When you got your your bald person emails? No, no, I don't listen to those fucking dweebs. There's no I group. I'm the king of the balds. <laughs> I will be I'll rise to the Do top. You? Me and Jason Statham. But also oh. if you look at um you know obviously Elon Musk very famously yeah. has hair plugs. Yeah, yeah but they but, look bad on Eli. I didn't yeah, know, he looks I like an asshole. That, uh, Steve Carell. Carell. Look at Steve Carell. Really look at pictures from him before that he got the office, and then after you see that he completely redid it. And mm. I was like, because I was sitting thinking to myself, do I need it? And no. do I have to have it? No. Mm. I don't have. This is me. Yeah. This is me, and I'm you fine know, with it. They said I choose this. Steve Buscemi went to gotten the job if he didn't have such bad teeth. That's the thing. You never know. Sometimes you gotta be an ugly fuck. Jennifer yeah. Grey ruined her career by getting the nose job. She looks stupid now. She looked better before. 
Right? Also, imagine Hollywood if I did is very show, fickle, so about, you probably told her to get it. Because the truth is, imagine if I did show up with a full brand new head of hair. Yeah. Do you think I would ever live it down? It'd be real strange. I would mention it every three minutes. Every well, person who ever met me. I just showed up looking like fucking, I just, I got the full like swoop, like I'm in the hives or something. Well, it reminds me of that Shallow Hal movie <laughs> with the guy who had the tail. Yes. Um, George Nikki Cassandra. says you just do what yeah. Steven Seagal does and spray paint it again. You I don't do need to do that. I don't but dress like an upholstered piece of furniture. Going mm -hmm. back to that guy, uh, you know when you get a bad haircut and you're like, like when uh, when you're when you're uh, when you're one of your family relatives said I look like Jeff Daniels from Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Because it took a little while to grow in. You just thought that was a nice the compliment there. That's a nice fun fun thing. Uh, it was yeah. a fun and it was fun. And it was fun. But does that guy then just have what just seems to be a bunch of pustules with hair sticking out of it for the next, like, no, it's, five months? You have to wear a head diaper that gets soaked with your blood. You have to go oh. hide. So it's like you're in your cocoon. You know what I mean? You go in your little cocoon, and then you come out with brand new hair. And then everyone has to not – because that's also the you're worst part of it. You're not allowed to say anything. You can't – you just spent – because you know how much that costs? How much? $45,000. You have Jesus. so much information on <laughs> Oh, yeah. I did all of the research. It that's costs 45 k to be tortured 45K. and make yourself look like fucking pinhead. You go and you fucking – you do this, and then you can't <sighs> – no one is allowed to even notice it. Yeah. Because if they <laughs> notice it, they know that you have – you're a cock. Yeah. You're a haired cuck, yeah. and then oh. you've now covered your yeah. head with with pinpoints. Jake <laughs> says, I actually got diagnosed with testicular cancer just after the stream was canceled last. I officially went into remission when the reincarnated stream was announced. Is that a coincidence? I no, because so. we're controlling your cancer. And Not comedy bad. comedy saves lives. Just act, uh, ask Robin Williams. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Well, either way, everyone is beautiful. And but you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to change anything. Fuck? But that's the biggest fuck. It's like if you show up with a new car, everybody's happy for you. Yeah. Sure. You show up. I, mean, I guess with new tits, no one says anything really. Not really. Well, I, you're not really that supposed is to go. Actually, wowie, 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 wowie. Like, it is untrue. There are some super fucking rude people. Who will be like, who did your boobs? When did you get this done? That's but different. Like, another woman can say that. Another I woman, yeah. Else that's another man. man of course. Can yeah. say it to somebody else. We, like, we hang out with all these babes. And we do. You, you overhear some things people say to them, some douchey dudes. You're like, what, what the fuck is that all about? No, I just went, because people are saying I look fine. Yes, they, Lindsay, I might get I'm going to do the neon hair again. People are saying nice. I'm not farming. For, I'm not fishing for compliments. It's over. Yeah, it's done. It's over. It's done now. It's done. Wow. Because even now, because I was going to try to take the hymns. The the he was definitely fishing for a compliment. He got a compliment about this big. <laughs> well, speaking of plastic surgery, talking a little bit about boob jobs. Talking Eric's about all bald. That and he's manly as hell. Yeah. He's got a beautiful girlfriend. He's no one means you have high tea. I have low tea. I'm hard as ever. That's a weird thing. I have high tea, yet I still have all my hair. Yeah, but you're hairless. That is true. Yeah, the I'm rest of you hairless. sleek yeah. like yeah. an eel. My nipples, and uh, I'm like, remember, I'm like a satyr, you know? Yes. So you and I truly, them, yeah. I, I do think I have low T, but keep in mind, I have self-diagnosed after I watched a new Genix commercial. <laughs> With Frank, <laughs> Frank Flutie yeah, Frank, and Frank Thomas. Yeah, Frank Thomas really made a good case there. He did. Yeah. And and she'll like it, too. <laughs> Cut to me in prison. <laughs> I guess she did. Well, well let's go to Ugh. a couple of people and win a little far with plastic surgery. This is called Muscle Rub Down. Oh, oh yeah. man. I like these. Is this going to be synthol? Oh, yeah, this is oh, synthol. Yeah. <laughs> God dang. I do, I've, I've seen so many of these. I have, this man is going to... He's going to lose both of his arms. Yeah. He's going to be like ah, that. Just... <laughs> Don't the baby I knock out boy so still look as natural as I do. Dude, synthol the is... The baby who looks so good, so manly. You've seen... You got to tell me my vagina was sealed professionally they made my vagina a more of like a little suggestion of a vagina mm -hmm. i know shit well I, know shit. I, I think i've seen you do it i think we watched you shit all uh, we, a little earlier we talk but, about this men are this is the, one of those things where like with bodybuilding mm -hmm. it's body dysmorphia like right. um, gets all wrapped up into all that shit for men, and it's weird that it happens because like that guy technically seen is extremely the... mentally broken. No, oh, that guy's yeah. extraordinarily mentally. Ill. I think it goes kind of both ways. It's just for men, there's no one who thinks it's hot. For ladies, you can get one of those huge I would love to know. or whatever. Chat. And there's always going to be someone to be like, I climbed that man or Please, that woman. Chat. If you saw that man. What are you doing with him? Like, if you saw Nothing. him, he came up to him and he was like, Hi, do you want to be trafficked to Romania? Like, if you saw him, like, and you, <laughs> like, anybody, an he seems like he's a guy who says, do you want to get trafficked? 
Um, yeah. mm-hmm. It is the single grossest thing of all time. Ellie says I've... my vagina has never been drier. But yes. again, I feel that the, you know you never know. You you, you could have an illness. Dry. Well, I mean, honestly, you put a straw in that guy's arm, uh, get some of that liquid oil on you. Because it's have just... you seen a, them being drained? No. I believe I've shown videos of them being drained. It looks like Penn's oil. It's real nasty, and most of them end up having to get them cut off but this is an extremely you technically the biceps one of the you don't use this muscle necessarily no that's why they say the tricep bail and hang they say the tricep is the working man's muscle it is you got tricep that's the one back here yeah this is at least that guy can't drown with those arms that's completely true i actually think that he would drown very fast did you ever see the russian popeye fight no russian popeye he's the guy with the biggest fucking arms that there is can we see that one of the first guys to do it he gets into the ring and he can't move his arms. I mean, uh, it's it's fucking fascinating. It must be painful. Oh, dude, it's horrible. Yeah, All the surgeries exactly. because it then it solidifies and it, it, it joins with your muscle. It joins with your muscle and it all just comes together. And then you got to carve out everything to the bone. And then the muscle is never allowed to come oh, back. Yeah. yeah, dude, this guy Ooh, fucking fought somebody. Muscle. Russian pie pie may die. Uh, I thought. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. And then, of course, those arms, he had to get them drained a bunch. But then he's got a real sickness again. So he keeps on doing it. Oh, he injects it with petroleum jelly. Look yeah. at that, dude. His back is all like, and then he's like, look at that, my so that's the working man tricep yes. but it's really not and he's gross oh. God, can you imagine meeting this guy again to nikki just says here i wouldn't be able to conceal the look of abject horror on my face oh absolutely like, if i met that man i'd just be like can i call somebody yeah for like, you wait where's your sh- i have a therapist she's young and you have dreams do you dream wait does like, he have a tattoo of george costanza I no way. Be- I think that's Vladimir Putin. Oh, okay. <laughs> Although it does, it could be. I do see how you might think that's George Costanza. I Whoa, see. I love the also, idea of can- Vladimir Costanza. How do oh, you? Uh, how do you tattoo on liquid fucking fat? I think you or- just pick cash that check. Wow, that Actually, is Actually, no, that's Gorbachev. That is <laughs> Gorbachev. That is, that is an unfinished tattoo of Gorbachev, I think. Oh, buddy, old I pal. think. <laughs> Look at that alien the chest piece. pretty good. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. What but would Gorbachev possess you? Is, That's for a guy that young. That's real weird. Real I weird. That's fucking really know weird. I think it might be George Costanza. It yeah. could be. And then he thinks it's Gorbachev. Yeah. He's just it like, really remember many times uh, Mr. Gorbachev win Emmy for Scheinfeld, that Jew show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they never did export Seinfeld to Russia. They o- mm. only Raymond. Yeah. Only Raymond. Was Raymond Jewish? Oh, Raymond, Melissa, no. do you remember the guy that made the one guy we covered on Side Stories and we talked a little bit on maybe Relax It? The guy that injected his balls, like the guy that made his balls oh, big yeah. and huge. Guy, he'd end up dying. And then his bear, it's like he had a, he had like a pack of like slave bears. Oh, like circus were, bears. Yes. Yeah. No, sex bears. His men bears. Oh, sex bears. And it was a bunch of big, oh, fat, bully guys that, that were all like rolling oh, yeah. all You over mean each other. bears like men, like men, big, like big, big me. Us. Me. I yes, thought you yes. meant literal bears. No, like, no, yeah, no I'm a bear, of... you're a twink. Yes. Actually, I'm no, not a twink. I'm, I'm not a no, twink. No, you're a cub. Uh, actually, uh, Ben. You are. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah, you're a cub. Actually, Ben, I'm an otter. Yeah, I've heard the word. I don't think you're hairy enough to be an otter. Oh, you're not tiny? I think you're just an elder twink. A larger twink? Why can't twink. Yeah, this guy? Is it this dude? There's no. another guy. <laughs> there's another guy. It's so, it so fun. Our friend Sonia and her wonderful uh, husband, Manny. He's a great, uh, unbelievable special oh, effects wow. artist. But for some reason, Manny and I are. That are, is literally. That one, right there, the TLC one. Scrolling. I will yeah. actually This is what we truth. send to each other, and we found out that we have a common laughter at Big Balls. Did you uh-huh. know this, Eric? Look at this guy. But wow. Did, when we did the big ball episode of Your Pretty Face is Going to Hell, we it is based off of, and our costumes are based off of that picture. Wow. <laughs> the idea of wearing a sweater as pants to oh, hold the, sweater the balls. Oh, the sweater as pants of, guy? Yeah. yeah. This guy I like because he went with more of a mummy approach. Yeah. Well, hey, he you know, wrapped you it up. Wrap you don't want to wake it up. Also, his wife, what a lucky lady. And I don't know why they blur out the bottom of it. <laughs> Just in case you get it horny. <laughs> hey, hey, that's the ball's butt. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> that's the, that is the butt of the ball. Oh, yes. Yeah. That is yeah, the had, butt of the ball. You notice she also had that big sack, yeah. the big sackule, but you know, that's yeah, how it you is. You can't yeah, get the wrinkles in there. That's let's check out goes. the bar. Let's see a barbecue Saturday, Eric. 
Oh, would you Marcus do can't think the chat can't decide if Marcus is an otter or not. I don't think he's hairy enough. I think we need a beard to be an otter. I, I, I think technically he's a snake. Term. I know that's the thing. I don't think and snake is pretty good. I think you I might don't be a think snake. That's a term. Because I, I think that it's unfair term. to put all hairless men under the twink label. No, it's be, you no, can't. You're also, it's because you're you're felt. You're but you're, you're not. Spelt, but to be honest, though, I think that some twinks might be like, hey, now. Because a lot of twinks are mostly, you could fit five twinks on the head of a needle. Yeah. Like, a lot of them are like, you think they he's are... too tall? I'm no. Too yeah, I'm absolutely too tall. 5'11 is way too tall to be a twink. I don't know I think so. I, I feel like I twinks are 5'5 and under. I hope none of this is slurs. I... No, I really don't think that it is, my friend. I don't think so. Well, you know, if we can do a poll. Uh, we'll find yeah. out. Oh, we, we certainly will find out. Is yeah. Marcus a twink? Because I know where I stand. Henry, you have been well documented on Chubbarama, where you are, where they have put you. I do I, I thought Marcus would be a twink, but let me know what he is. I'm yeah. technically a bear by waist size, but by height, I'm a cup. Mm, interesting. Yep. And also by attitude. Well, but yeah. I'm a let's see a man guy. who's neither. <laughs> like the Charmin bear. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, look. <laughs> Doggy, it's Barbecue Saturday. Y'all have a great Saturday night. Please be safe. I don't like my butt hole age. He's funny. Now, what is up <laughs> with that funny now? Are those his actual funny teeth? Guy. No, I think that's, he puts well, funny in funny. Personally, I just like the... Oh, oh, yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. I enjoy you know, that. It's, fun, you know it's what a, fun to invite him to a barbecue, probably. That's, again, post like that all you want. That's all I want. Yeah, that's what it's for. You know what I mean? I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear anything else no. out of his mind. I want you to put funny teeth on, do a long burp, talk about it being barbecue Saturday. That's your lane, friend. Mm -hmm. Be inside great. of it. Yeah. You know, I stay in my lane. You know I mean, what I mean? I, I, big, huge, wanged, fucking multi, multi. You know, everybody looks at me like, what's that guy do? What's he doing next? Right. What's he up to? What's yeah, he up to? what's he in the mix of? Yeah, right. I could see, yeah. I would like to know a little bit about his geopolitical thinking mm. because I also think mm. probably. After five minutes of hearing him rant, you could probably think one thing was good. Is it true the vaccine's made out of Vaseline? <laughs> there you go. You know what I mean? Like, sir, no. And he's like, thank you for dispelling another uncommon myth. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, indeed. <laughs> I'll teach a man. I'll teach any man. Yeah, you will. You will. You'll teach a man what? Whatever I got. What, you know? Okay, like, uh. Yeah, give me, a, give me a lesson. Give me a lesson. Teach Why me something. Why don't you teach oh, Marcus how to do something where... Uh, people would say, I can't believe that you know how to play drums. You know, all right, here's a lesson. Do you know that apparently a person's lips is the same color as their genitals? Huh. That is not true. Is Maybe that... the inside. Is I that... don't think that that's true. I don't think that's true. It is true. Look it up. But there's no way. That's not a lesson. You have yeah. to teach him a lesson. Yeah, you have you to. Can't you just gotta learn. To, you gotta learn the lesson. You just gotta just fucking. You guys gotta move on. I would say that <laughs> technically the genital area. I think tends to have that a little lesson bit. is called <laughs> move on. Well, okay. well, okay. So, well, let's let's move on because I feel like the last couple of videos have been going a little easy on you. Hey, you know it's nice. It's, it's nice. nice to see the it's whole nice. breadth of your mind. It's nice. Yeah. So let's really okay. So we're in the middle of this Manhattan Project series at the moment. We're about a Forty Second Street. Yeah. That's what I would say. We're about, in the Manhattan Project. We're probably about you know, close to Columbus Circle. Close oh, to Cor yeah, Shake close Shack. To but we're about to go downtown with Hiroshima this week, uh, and of course, there's not any video of uh, the immediate aftermath of Hiroshima, nor is there video of the exact moment when the uh, bomb exploded. They However, felt it was in bad taste. In bad taste. Uh, <laughs> and it also sort of took them by surprise, yeah. so no one was really able to grab a camera. However, uh, yes. there were survivors, um, particularly one survivor in general, uh, particularly one survivor uh, who went on to, let's say, uh, animate Sister. his experiences uh, during the bombing of Hiroshima. Uh, this and is I know, I think I know what they're going to show. Yep, he animated it, so we're going to really sit. This is really going to be fucked up. Sister Sulphur says, lips, nipples, and genitals, it's true. We teach that in makeup. It's your ideal lip shade, actually. Interesting. So we're just going to sit. My lips are very pink. Yeah, I wonder what your fucking balls no, are. No, my balls are not pink. Yeah, they're like ruddy brown. I mean, yeah, they are more ruddy brown. You know what? That's totally the color of my balls. Yeah, if you flip my penis inside out, this is all you'd see. Mm. That's weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Look at so that. Yeah. A lot of sperm could come through there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good. Big Buckets. hole. Altitude 3,600 feet. Fixed on target. Release bomb. Roger. Releasing it's also bomb. Incredible animation. Yeah, this is almost really good. Little boy. I've 
seen this a long time ago. It's it's not fun. No, it's not. Not Got at all. Parachutes down there, huh? Yes, yeah, sloughing's coming. The sloughing, the great sloughing. From a butthole to a mushroom cloud. He's not gonna last. Money on that bomb. At least nobody died. <laughs> yeah, Caitlin says let's watch Watership Down next in its entirety. <laughs> I think it's a really good idea. I think that what we should do is say that we should. Have you ever seen Come and See? Marcus? No, I never yeah. saw that. Yeah. One. Yeah. I don't know. Ooh, it's, it's the glass, really. There. It's the glass. It's the glass. It's the glass. I guess I'd go with the the, the instant stuff. melting. Oh yeah, it'd be, yeah. You well, want to be I in that run first? Toward, if yeah. I wasn't able to run away from it, yeah, you I would don't just kind of run towards yeah, it. Yeah, you don't really want to be crushed underneath, like so many people were. You know, this nightmare. That she's, she's pregnant as well. Of course. Jesus. Obviously, people are more upset about the dead dog than the children. This is what happens. This is this is yeah. where we're at. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't think Oppenheimer's going to do any of this shit. I don't think they're going to really cover this in Oppenheimer. They said he, it's a horror movie. He said it. No, he said people were walking out of the theater. He does, yes, because they were going to the bathroom three and a half hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> also, I heard a story about Tommy Wiseau going to the Apple store. Uh -huh. And he has to call his money man. And every time he goes to the Apple store, he wants to buy an iPad. And then he calls his money man. He puts him on speakerphone. And his money man says he can't afford it. So he has to leave. Hey, man, that's his own personal Hiroshima. Look at that. Wow. Well, and isn't that uh, great art comes from that. So well, I hope you enjoyed it that. It was all worth it. Then. You know, honestly, great art. that is one of those things I remember seeing. It was that one. And then uh, I forget what was the, the British one. Screws. Like the idea of the, was the idea of, I forget what it was. It was about an atomic attack on London. It's either. Yeah. That is. I know you're. Threads, 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 yes, threads, which is fucked. That movie is absolutely <laughs> fucked. But it's like a part of it where you, you know, we, where you can see this is what we did. We did that. They did it. They somehow they just managed to like come back. Yeah. I don't know how they came back and made art about it and figured out what to do. Yeah. Kind of like what ECA Sagawa did about his own crimes. Yeah. Actually made a bunch of really compelling, weird comic books about it. Yeah. What uh, the guy who um, made that uh, was actually there. He was a small oh, boy. Um, really? Yeah. And he saw it? He saw it. Well, they, uh, you, you know, we'll get into it next week, but they all talk about too. It's like, because it made such, obviously it was, um, how do you put it? Influential. Yeah. Because um, it was a big moment. And was, but they watched it when, when it did happen. It's like, it was this, like, it was kind of like ethereally beautiful. Yeah. As yeah. These well. kids today just watch TV. They don't even know what good entertainment is. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is what the kids should see. Yeah. You they gotta watch know. live nuclear explosions. Yeah. Yes. Well, to cleanse the palate, let's watch a guy uh, failing to stab another guy. Yeah. Sweet. Oh. The day after tomorrow. That was what I was thinking of. That's another one. That's a good movie. Oh, yeah. This guy. Worst Shark Tank guy. pitch you ever. That has to still hurt, though. Yeah. Wow. No problem. Now shoot him. Oh, chip, oh chip, God. Chip. Ooh, I don't. Uh, oh, God, God, don't, don't. 
God damn it! What if he shot you in the head? Well, that's a chance for a uh, willing machete. to Machete. Oh, no. no. Just stop. Just stop it. You <laughs> already mean, did you it. Know. You did the test. You. Oh, this is my favorite one. The baseball bat. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I feel like the baseball bat is going to do more than... Because the other one's... Oh, is he going to spin him around? He's going to hit him in the back. How does this work? It's very hard. Man, I need one of these. To wear all the time? Yeah. Uh, you know... I'm gonna still be talking to you here right now. I'm gonna walk You're right, that's how Lords of Chaos should have ended, Camille. Threads is streaming for you. No, we can end now because yeah. it's just well, a guy talking. How does about that not. It. He must be hurting. He has to be, yeah, because they say when you get hit with a. Like if you're wearing a bulletproof vest and you get shot, it'll it's break like, your ribs. Well, they say it's like having a bowling ball thrown at you. Yeah, yeah, mm. like it's not. It's, it's not simple. It's like especially guys who, like, if you get hit with machine gun fire or like that kind of like. like it'll fuck you up. Yeah. I'll open right? my mouth all wide and I'll take all that machine gun bullet in my mouth and I'm going to spit it right back at You him. sound like you're talking about the mask, which we say before, if you're going to remake a movie, you got to remake the mask and you got to do it just like the comics work. You make them super hyper violent. Really? But they're not going to do it that way. Why not though? They're just going to make it more and more twee and twee and twee. But and I feel like John Wick gonna... shows that you can kill and kill and kill and kill and kill and we love it. Yeah, that's true, but. Because now John Wick's like a superhero. He is a superhero. He mm -hmm. always has been. Yeah. Never kill a man's dog. Never rub another man's rhubarb. Dream cheese, you know how criminals always keep hitting you in the exact same part of your body over and over again. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. What if they just went for the neck or Well, yeah. it's because the head, but you or... go. I just think there's some I think it'd be real hard to get me in that. I mean, you're not going to be, you know, Robert F. Kennedy could have used it. I but feel like you, you can't get at me. Well, like JFK get... went to fuck. Who gives a shit? But you get stabbed. I think that uh, it gives you the opportunity to run away. You get stabbed and you run away. Oh, next you should you know, never you're go just fucking running away like a Again, little bitch. Run away from a knife, run towards a gun. Yeah. Is that true? Yes. No. Run towards a gun because no. people are more often than not are not able to aim and fire correctly. And that run away from a knife because it's so much easier to hurt you while you got a knife up to close to you. No, 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 no. no well, completely. For the rest of the time. That's, that's, that's real. I can't I didn't I, I just haven't heard many of I haven't videos. heard I haven't heard any teachers. Direct their children to do that. No, Run because teachers, because well, mostly honestly, now they say, no, let's barricade. Because they're not supposed to. But honestly, if teachers do, if you do want to protect your kids, you should say they should en masse run towards the shooter. I do mean that but in a that, way because they would because they would overwhelm you're them. But a handgun, it, with an you got to do it like the Russian spread. army. Yeah, where you throw but, bodies at it. Yeah, but but they're children. And we're not. They're harder to hit. Yeah, actually, I mean that's the sad thing with the AR. It's just too easy. So, they won't let know. me teach. They won't. I know I taught him. I said I can teach, but that's just because I teach him the school of hard knocks. I am going to Google that if your lips are the same color as your testicles. I know that mine are. That's the interesting thing about it. Whether he's lying or not, I know it's true for me. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it's all about the inner truth. It's better than a, than a fact. <laughs> well, we got a couple more videos. And you know what? I decided we're going to end this fun. At least Sleazy Dan just says it's correct. We need a last podcast vest. We need a last correct. podcast bulletproof vest. Yeah, we do. Oh, actually. Oh, that's a great idea. We'd be idea. fucking sweet. Yeah. Extremely expensive to make with very little. No. We make five. Yep. Well, then you say no, but unfortunately, democracy yeah. outvoted. Oh, Done. no. Parliament. Oh, Parliament. <laughs> Procedure. <laughs> People are going to love them. <laughs> Yeah, I like this guy. Gunshots are even more survivable than stab wounds. That's right, Caitlin. Huh. That's interesting. All right. Because a lot of times they exit. The gun wound. A yeah. knife can, can you stick in and then all your shit rolls inside of your body. Right. Oh. Yeah, and it's a larger wound usually. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I sing Foster the People, that song uh, Pumped Up Kicks was on the radio today, but it's really just about a school shooting. It is. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful, though, the way the sound is. Yeah. But then everything is just like you're going to run away from the bullets. Same thing with Jeremy. But Jeremy was different, though, because he brought the pain within. It's true. Yeah. He's, it's true. Yeah. And well, Ben. Never, yep. Go on. Speaking of the pain within, this last video is for you. You know, this has really been, I'll say, of a mandate. You say you punish people. I think we enlighten people. Yeah. I think so, too. I think, honestly, well, they're better the for it. Because, like, medicine isn't always the best tasting thing in the world, is well, it? Well, that's the thing. I still like you. I'm not going to truly punish you. Not in the way that your father did. No. I'm not no. going to do that. I'm going to be nice. You know, his way. In but, my uh, way. What I hope, you know, I hope I can only aspire. Because now I want to hurt him. 
Yeah, <laughs> just like what you said. Now I want to go. Now you want to do it. Now you want to be hurt. I'll do live death. Yeah, I do. I'll find something. Yeah. I got a oh, so we were supposed to. We have all these papers next week. Oh. We are not uh, going to be here because of the, you know how much we love July this 4th. fucking country of ours. But are we are going to be oh, off. Don't even, uh, do not malign the great tradition that is July 4th. I know, July 4th is one of my favorite holidays, and that is what we're doing. We're taking off for the holiday, so we'll be back the week after. It's October, it is Halloween, July 4th. And then classy night out July 5th at the Pack Theater, come on out. Arbor Day. Those, Those are my three favorites. Very nice indeed. Indeed. Arbor Los Day Angeles. is nice. Yeah, Arbor Day. Remember the trees. I do like to remember the trees. Coming but let's see this last video. Let's check it out. It's just so much fun. I think both of you are going to love it just as much as I did. I'm let's check it. it out. We're going to go we're going to go a minute or so over. But you got to watch it. <laughs> Animals almost stop. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is my life right now with two dogs. <laughs> nice healthy teeth, good yeah. gums. I like it when they make dogs make noise. Yeah, dogs. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> dogs like people. <laughs> dogs be like people. Dogs be like people. <laughs> you know that photo of the Chinese crest that's making that noise? It was going. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> all of us have a chihuahua with him. Oh no, I have so all. I have two tiny dogs now. A constant. Always. See, Eugene is right. Marcus does love. Them. That dog is giving me PTSD. Oh, yeah, this is too ramshine, isn't it? Yeah, this is too hot. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful creatures, these, these birds. Oh, yeah, Bella, my new dog's name is Carmelita. That was the name she came with. Carmelita. I got a meter. She had them long nipples for a while, but well, finally we got we got balls and a cock now. Man, this what was a really again. This was a good sweep of the arc of humanity. It really was. Yes, you get everything. A little bit of everything. You get balls. You got vaginas. Who's you got doing a the next husband. one? Well, I, I'm the next one. You okay, are. I'm next one. Right. Two weeks. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Hail yourselves. We'll talk to you soon. We'll be back not next week, but the week after. Okay, bye. You go out there, you celebrate this country in any way you want, but you keep them hands intact. All right. Yeah, don't blow yourself up. Bye. Bye, fuckers.